Hi guys, Phoenix here. In this video, I'll be showing you a few of the options that I change on my uh, MSI GT73 VR Titan Pro to uh, disable any throttling. So under here in the advanced menu, I scroll down to CPU configuration and I disable Intel Software Guards extension. That is only meant for developers who uh, want to add some security, extra security in the apps they develop. Not needed, not needed for normal users. Then let's see down if there's anything here. For the FCLK frequency for early power on, by default it's set to 800 megahertz, but uh, one gigahertz is fine, so you can set it to that. Voltage optimization, I keep that at auto. Power and performance. Let's go to CPU power management control. Now, if you're not yet sure what are the stable overclocks on your laptop, you want to keep the, this at the default max non-turbo performance. Because if you accidentally choose an overclock that is very high and you know renders your system uh, not unstable, then you wouldn't even be able to boot to get back into the BIOS. So let's keep, you, I mean, to be on the safe side, you can just set this to max non-turbo performance. Now, I know what are the stable clocks on my system, so I set it to maximum performance in order for the maximum uh, clocks to, to be available from startup. Next, you wanna enable Intel speed shift technology that basically minimizes the time where the CPU shifts from normal stock clocks to turbo clocks. Now under view, configure turbo options. What I disable is energy efficient turbo. I'll leave the, the rest at stock. CPU VR settings of Core IA. I set the VR current limit to 400. That's about it for this menu. Set escape twice. Let's scroll down a little bit. Overclocking performance menu. Um, I, I keep watchdog timer disabled because again, I know what are the, the safe overclocks for my system, but if you don't, you, you may wanna keep it enabled. That's like a safeguard. If the system uh, uh, senses that the overclocking settings are not correct and it's not able to boot, then it would revert them back to stock and you know, uh, you'll be able to boot, but I know the systems, uh, sorry, the overclock on my system, so I keep that as disabled. XTU interface you wanna enable. For, for that time when you wanna install XTU, then any change you make in XTU actually gets also changed in the BIOS. That like basically opens the link between the program and the BIOS. Let's go to processor. I have my maximum overclocking ratio set to 42, that's to 4.2. So adjust yours accordingly to whatever CPU you have. I have an, a 50 uh, millivolt offset for the voltage and I, I set a negative sign here. I leave my uh, ring or cache frequency at stock, but you can go up to 42 if you want to match the CPU speed. Although the performance benefits are minimal and it only causes uh, more CPU heat. So it's not really recommended to change the cache frequency, which is known as ring. Of course, here in ACPI setting, you can disable hibernation completely if you don't need that. Now, since I've done a lot of the changes in the previous overclocking submenus, this is the basic overclocking menu here and already shows us the changes that I've made, 42 for the CPU uh, multipliers and the voltage offset is 50, although it's not showing the negative sign here, but it is 50. And this is the most important one, the VR current limit. Now let's see if I remember, I also changed the power limit one and two. Uh, let me see where those are. 
yeah if you're still having um throttling issues then you want to enable power limit one and set this to a hundred thousand and also do the same for power limit two although in my case uh i don't have any throt throttling so it doesn't matter but i'm just gonna keep it just for demonstration purposes but that's where you'd set your power limit one and two from Again, it was under advanced power and performance and then CPU power management control. All right, guys, that's a very brief uh, look at the BIOS settings. I may do another video at a later point where I explain every single uh, option in the BIOS and what it does. Thank you for watching.